What's up everybody, this is JC. What I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna do a speed test between the Western Digital Black 850 and the Fire Coda 530. Now, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, all right? Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and hit a like. And if you're a subscriber and you haven't hit the notification bell yet, go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so what I've got inside the PlayStation 5 right now is a Fire Coda 530. It's an excellent um, internal SSD. I highly recommend it. So I'm just going to do a speed test with a few games with it and the Western Digital Black. So first I'm going to format it so you can see the speed that is, that is um, advertising. So I'm going to hit format. It's formatting right now. Okay, I see right on the screen, it says that um, the read speed is 6557.562 megabits per second. That's the speed for the, for the Fire Coda 530. So I hit OK. It says right it's showing on the screen that it's already it's been formatted. If you want to change anything after go to settings and storage, we already know that. We're gonna hit OK. So it's rebuilding, doing its thing. Now I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna show you the speed with the Western Digital Black. So I'm gonna format it and you can see the speed that is advertising. So I'm gonna hit the format. It's formatting right now. It says right here, read speed is 6,428.938 megabits per second. All right. Also, what I'm going to show you right now are the two boxes for the internal SSD. This is the box right here for the Fire Cooler. You can see right here, it says um, Seagate Gaming. And it's uh, right here, 6,500 megabytes. And you show on the PlayStation 5, um, it's, a six, oh, it's over 6,500. That's impressive. And this is right here is for the Western Digital Black. It's over right here gaming disk drive. And um down here it shows the speed of 7000. But the PlayStation showing right there is 6,428. 6428. So there's the difference. The Fire Coda is um shows 65 on the box, but it shows more when it's formatted on the PlayStation 5. On the box, the Western Digital says 7000 or it is formatted on PlayStation it's like five a little over 500 less so take with a grain of salt is that everything they advertise on the box is actually what it is so that's a reminder so what i'm going to go right now i'm going to go out it's already formatted boom it's going to go through the screen real quick what i'm going to do right now i'm going to make sure that i move some games over on the disk drive i have right now in the PlayStation 5, that's a Western Digital Black 850. So let's move a game from the console. Let's see which game I'm gonna move real quick. I'm gonna move. Um, I want a, I want a PlayStation 4 game. That's um that takes a while. You know what? Let's move Marvel Avengers. Yeah, so that's a pretty big game. That's a 97.62 gigabytes game. So let's move that. And then let's move another one. I'm gonna move two games, a PlayStation 4 games and a PlayStation 5 game. So let's do that. Let's move, uh, let's see, Spider-Man. That game is a uh, 53.66 gigabyte. So let's move those two games over. And um, let's hit okay real quick. Well, when this, okay, let's see how fast this is gonna take. Yeah, it's moving very fast. I like that. So we're gonna come back to you as soon as it's finished. I'm um, uh, moving. I'm back. I'm back right now. So let's go back. Let's go out here real quick. In the M.2 storage, as you can see in the top, on the top corner is a WDS 500. That's basically the Western Digital Black SN 850. Just to let you go, the guys know. So the game and apps. You show these are the two games that I moved over. The Marvel's Adventures and the Spider-Man uh, Remastered. So what I'm gonna do right now, excuse me, I'm gonna do a boot up test. This is how fast it's gonna take to boot from the, from the from the load up screen onto the play screen. So let's go right here to Spider-Man. First, okay, what I'm gonna do real quick, go down here. What I'm gonna do again, let me get look at my speed clock right here, my stopwatch right here, and um, and this is from this is a PlayStation 5 game and um, I'm gonna do a speed up uh, speed test on this one then I'm gonna go to Marvel's Adventure which is a PS4 game to see how fast it boots up all right so here we go 
Go start at three, two, one, go. Forty-one seconds. That's not bad at all. Forty-one seconds. So what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna do it with the with the Marvel Avengers. And the next game I have on deck is Spider-Man, uh, not Spider-Man, oh, Marvel Avengers. And this is a PlayStation Four game. And if you're curious what set I'm using right now, I'm using a Hisense A6G 60 inches television set. All right. So let's do the speed test with the Marvel Avengers. And again. This is from the Western Digital Black SN850. All right, so let's get my trusty clock back on deck right here. So we're gonna start at three, two, one, go. So it takes 51 seconds from the from the from the from the hub screen until the, the, the main screen. 51 seconds. That's not bad at all. So the next one is gonna be with the Fire Cooler 530. Here's a little fun tip for everybody. Did you know that the Sega Master System that was launched in Japan in 1985 but it got its release date in the United States in 1986 had a few built-in games inside that's very impressive for Sega when it comes out and came out in 1986 these are some of the games that came in this console it had um the snails maze and hang on an Alex kid that was a quick fun tip for y'all now back to the video all right I'm back everybody and um this one show right here in the top corner that's uh, the internal SSD I have in the PlayStation 5 now it's a Seagate Fire Cooler 530. So I'm going to show you the games I have on it right now. I have the Marvel's Avengers and the Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. And I just want to say something real quick. In the beginning of the video where I show you that um, I was doing the speed test with the Marvel Avengers and I thought it was a PlayStation 4 edition. But I want to apologize to you guys. I just realized the mistake. So the speed test on the time I saw, it was for the Marvel's Avengers for the PlayStation 5. Not for the PlayStation 4 edition. So I apologize to you guys for that. I just caught my mistake and I say I like to make it known. So what I'm gonna do next time in my next video, I'm just gonna do nothing but PlayStation 4 game speed tests, and also I'm gonna include the storage from the PlayStation 5. So it's gonna be the Western Digital Black, Fire Cooler 530, and the and the storage from the PlayStation 5. Okay, just to let you guys know that. So let's go back over here. And I'm gonna do a speed test first with Spider-Man. So going down here to play, let me get my trusty um stop stop on deck, stop watch on deck. So we're gonna start at wait a minute, something is not, something's not right. Okay. Okay, there we go, that's more like it. We're gonna start in three, two, what's going on here? Three, two, one, go. Wow, 12 seconds, 12 seconds, hmm, that is pretty strange, 
Something's pretty, something strange about that. I don't know what. But anyway, 12 seconds I got. Well, kudos to you, Fire Kuda. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the, um, the, the Marvel Avengers. And let's go right here. Let me stop my clock real quick. And you're going to start at 3, 2, 1, go. Fifty seconds, fifty one seconds. Okay, that's not bad. Fifty one seconds. So it's almost on par with it's almost on par with the Western Digital Black. Okay. So so I guess that's what it is. So let me look at my times right here. On my paper I have for the Western Digital Black Spider Man at forty one seconds, the Avengers at fifty one seconds. And for the Fire Kuda, Spider-Man at 13 seconds. And the Avengers at 49 seconds. Actually, 51 seconds. Something doesn't seem right about those numbers right there. So like I said, I'm going to do some more speed tests. I'm going to try to see if there was any kinks or something that I missed. And I'm going to rectify it, alright? So just wanted to show you guys the difference between the Fire Kuda and the Western Digital Black. And if you like this, if you like this video, go ahead, and so, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and like it. And don't forget, if you are if you are a subscriber and you haven't did the, hit the notification button yet, go ahead and do that the minute you get the chance. All right, I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget, I'm going to send out um videos between Wednesdays and Fridays. So hit the notification so you get it as soon as I drop them. And I'm going to be doing a different type, different brand, um, internal SSDs. So I hope you guys can keep back and enjoy, and and I hope my videos will be able to entertain you as well as educate you as well. Again, this is the host JC. I love you guys. And thank you guys for subscribing. And thank you guys for paying attention and watching the videos. And I hope I can see you in the next one. Catch you.